Hi, good evening. Hi. We're in New York again. Um, it's Nancy and myself. Tinkerbell, where the um, what are we the where the Bob and Ray of cable television? That's what they've been calling us lately. So uh, we're here at the San, San Andres Salon on uh, east. It's we east or west? We're east. We're east. We're in East 57th Street between fifth and between sixth. Uh, first and eighth. And so it should be pretty easy for you to find the place. Uh, it just so happens. Uh, well, you're probably wondering why are we here, right? So are we. Well, I think that one good reason why we're here, Nancy, is like we heard about, of course you've heard about the Cody Awards, which are the fa fashion awards. Cody Awards are, are these awards they give to designers for excellence. How do you like these knots in my hair? I hope that, I came here to have my hair straightened. And uh, so we might be able to do that in the course of the evening. Um, but they have these awards, they used to have these Cody Awards. Well, they still have them for d excellence in designing. And now they have an award for excellence in hair design called the Cody Awards. Yeah, the and we're and, uh, and the then, so we're here to um, interview some the of the catchers. some of the uh, contenders for the Cootie Awards of '78. This year, the year of '78 and '77. Should it be '77 or '78? Well, what do you want? Because what are they going to put in the trophies? Uh, the tro I mean, the design of the trophy is fantastic. Yeah, I wish I we know. had one here. It's like a giant cootie. You know, it's like this giant bronze bug. And then on the bottom, they have a little plaque, and it says, "Hi." Um, there's no, uh, no, what is what is the slogan? Hair today, gone tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hair today, gone That's tomorrow, which, uh, um, which I, you know, it's it's great. And I envy the recipient of the award. And we'll find out. We're going to interview a few of the stylists, a few of the contenders, and find out and who the lucky person Who do you is. think it's going to be? Who should, who should I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of like Miss Alaska myself. <laughs> Miss Alaska? Did you like her? I mean, she's a great piano player. Which one did you like? I don't know yet. I mean, I haven't seen any of these people. I've got to see them, you know. Miss yeah. Arizona, she had nice. She, she had very. Is she here? She, yeah, she. Where is she? Of course, I she's had here. With her and, and Bird Parks is here too. <laughs> um, <laughs> and Anita Bryan is over there with the orange squeezer. Oh. Everybody's here. They're all here. I mean, that's, 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 <laughs> that's it. I mean, right? Who, who else is there? Right? Bird Parks, right. Anita Bryan. Hey, what do you say we get going? So okay. So now we're gonna. Now where, where should we start? Je prends mes peignes. I'm going to take my coat. Oh, okay, oh oui, oui. Okay, so oh, merci, so just merci. Just have a seat then. Um, yeah, he's going to come. Avec uh, le seat. Oui, okay. Dans la seat. Because uh, okay. we're, we're on in Paris, too. Okay. And we're, we, have a, we have an English channel, also. Okay, I'm coming back. Okay, you, okay, I want to say hello to these girls over here. Because these are two of the contestants. So, uh, this is Miss Arizona and Miss uh, North Carolina. The Miss Arizona. Okay. Miss Arizona. Could you tell Hi. us your name? <laughs> My name is Annabelle. How do you do, Annabelle? How do you how do, how do, how do you feel being one of the contenders for the Cootie Award? <laughs> really well, I'll tell you after. You, are you French, Annabelle? Yes. Can you recite the Gettysburg Address in French? The what? The Gettysburg Address. No, I don't good. know. Good, 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 thanks. That, that was, do you want it, Bob? Do you want to ask any uh, questions, Bob? Will you, will you, you want to be Bob questions. or you want to be Ray? Well, I don't know. Will you want to be? Well, I want to ask Andre something. Okay. I want to be Andre. Okay, because yeah, right. I hear. I'll talk to you later. Anytime. Okay, because uh, you want. I thought you wanted to tell me about some of the cabinets. Just, and yeah, I will do that later. Yeah. Put down and see these cabinets. And this. Yeah. He's a cabinet, like the president. Like the president has a cabinet. He yeah. has a cabinet. So now what are we doing? Oh, okay now. Oh, oh she's sitting in. Oh, and this I'm um, Miss Arizona from the Wait, get a shot of get a, get a shot of Miss Arizona. From Where who is she? Where is she? The bathing suit competition is coming up shortly and then we will have the pigtail competition followed by the beehive competition. Now take now uh, Ray, this is really an interesting hairdo here. I mean, I know Bob. I'm trying to know. I'm trying to know what this hairdo is. Can we find a zero in on this hair? Sure. Zero. I'm sorry, what is your name, please? Cecilia. Cecilia. Do you, do you have a last name? Charon. Cecilia Charon. And what you, how did you like, how do you like the song that's playing right now? It's nice. Very nice. So what would you give it a rating of, like, 1 to 78? 78. 78. It's a 78? Because I thought it was a 33. Um, what is this? What is, what is your favorite hairdo, Cecilia? 
Um, natural. It's natural. No blow dry. No blow dry. Natural. So you like the wet look? Yeah. So is that it? Just that this is going to be just the wet look, and this is your. You have these natural waves that, that you were born with. In your own words. Yeah, these are my natural waves. It's a little bit of firm. I just have a little. Just a little. You come here often? Yeah. Do you use San Andre makeup? Yes, I do. Cecilia uses San Andre makeup. Also, I didn't mention that San Andre also does makeup, and he also has matches. Could I have a book of those matches? In case they don't believe me, you know. San Andre matches. Okay, so now, um, are you Jewish, Christian? No, go ahead. Oh, I don't think so, no. <laughs> no. Are you Bob? Bob, hey Bob. What state do you want to represent in this competition? Monica, I can't believe it's you. You better believe it. You better believe it. Just that one. Do you want to? Don't you like this hair? No ship in the Navy comes on the ground. Yeah, I. Everything is a challenge, yes. Everything is a challenge? I like that thing with a challenge, yes. I like that idea. I like Have you heard about. Should we tell them what we read about in the. Was it the Times or the Post? The same thing, though, actually. You know. No, about what's happening in some of the salons? The lice? Did you hear about that today? No, was that? I know, they had this lice. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm working with knows about that. Do you know anything about lice? And the hair that's being found in all the salons. You, you haven't found it? It's been written up in all the, the newspapers. What, what's your name? Eric is my name. Oh. I never found a lice that wasn't. I never found a lice that wasn't nice. A lice? It was in all the papers today. What is uh, Nancy? Yeah. What is your um? Designer's name? Bob. No. Is your name Bob? Eric. Oh, no. Eric. Eric is here. Doing Bob's here. Oh, I have to ask Eric. Okay. Eric, who does your hair? I do. You do your hair? I don't do you do it, it every day? No, I don't. Are you really that women come here? I'm doing your hair to for look you. good to themselves? This show, they certainly do. Why do women come here? Why can a woman come here? Well, I would say uh, um, to, find, um, to find an attitude to the hair who represent today. I think most of the people who come here, uh, they are ready to do something else with their hair than what they've been doing uh, many years ago. And I really believe that's the first thing uh, what they're coming here for. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when they're here, then uh, everything starts. I mean, we look at the, 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 color, the color, the cut, the perm permanent, and uh, we have a consultation. And that's usually the way we start. Well, that is good because it would be, I guess it would be a bit ridiculous if they came here like to go shopping, you know. But this, um, you notice that this, can we show them? I think it's a little too curly. What do you think, Anton? Do you like this? Do you want it straight, or do you think it should be a little bit straight, Christian, or is it? No, no, it's okay. It's okay. okay. Any place. <clears throat> I figured that, you know, if they can't straighten up my hair, maybe I can get it all straightened up before I leave here myself. So you like, so you like this. What is this call, Christian? This is you. It doesn't have any name. Oh, it doesn't have a name. It doesn't have any name. <laughs> we don't give name. Actually, one of the most... We don't do hair in a way to give name because every time you're going to do something in this attitude, we we'll probably be different. And I think that's one of the most important thing. What hair is all about? It's the whole direction about hair. And when you, you take your hair and you do something, it looks like something the way you, you feel. You come here and you get a kid get about ten different hairdos in a minute. Do you know? Do you, are there, do you know any? What are your favorite hair don'ts? I mean, you have your favorite hair do's. Do you have any hair don'ts, Christiana? Hair, hair what? Hair don'ts. You know, you have your hair do, and then you have your hair don'ts like the the styles that you don't like. Are there any styles that well, aren't in no, right now? No, we uh, 
we do uh, we don't we don't do things that we don't like i mean do you think that you no no no, no i'm just asking direction. what what's all, is there anything that you don't like you mean about doing hair any particular style that you don't like no. you mean you like every style people, every hairstyle no because when people are here we talk about a direction and in that direction we have a lot of things to do then we lack a, a lot we won't do something that we don't don't lack mm -hmm. absolutely not i don't believe okay, it okay i think we wrap i, I think that we covered that very okay. nicely well okay oops <laughs> so nothing personal christian so this is it you know this is this is me i think but i could another thing about it it's taking the comb off and doing something and then else. we're back where we started you from know, just, uh, that's, that's what's so nice about doing hair. At least it will be creative again. Not just, not just, you know, hair do. Uh, Eric, what do you think I should do with my hair for my face? Well, taking into consideration, no matter what length of hair that you have, you have to take into consideration the bones that you naturally have. Mm -hmm. right? Take the length of hair and you adjust that particular hair for the bones that you have in your face. The length is fine. The only thing that's happening is because it's very long hair, has a tendency to make your hair mm -hmm. and your face longer. Longer. If anything, you want to grow the volume of your hair. So you shape it somewhat in here just to open this part of your face up. So how would you, how would you do that? Well, I would do it first of all by cutting it, oh. allowing the hair to breathe, allowing the hair to open. The hair to breathe? Well, that's what it is. <laughs> Just allowing the hair to open up. <laughs> Depending on whatever texture that you might have. Uh, if you have hair that's wavy enough or curly okay. enough to support the kind of volume that you need, then we take advantage of it. If you don't, then we implement um, whatever it takes. What about a perm? Could that do the a same perm, thing? If you don't have enough wave in your hair to achieve the kind of volume that you want to achieve, then I would say a perm would be the best way to do it. Because the only thing that you're dealing with, the only purpose for a perm, is to create volume. Mm -hmm. And you take that volume and you take that texture and you shape it for your face. Is there, is, there's nothing you can do to give me that volume now without the shaping at all? Um, I would have to shape it. Only you because, depending on how the hair is balanced, uh -huh. depending on the proportion of hair, the hair is only allowed to be able to do that particular thing. Right now, your hair is almost one length, which has a tendency to be very flat to your head. Mm -hmm. Let's say if your hair is shaped differently for the kind of volume that you want to have, then it will have a natural tendency to stand open. Mm -hmm. Especially with long hair. It's very difficult to wear long hair because it has to be very full. It can't be very straight to your head. You know what if you had short hair. Yeah. Then you, How long, who does your hair, Eric? Then you can Eric does his own. You do your own hair. How long does that take you? Well, it's, it's not a process that it takes time to do. It's something that you do once and it stays in until you For cut life. your hair. And then, what, and then will you wash it like that? Oh, well, yeah, I wash it like this. Like and you this? use the beads in? You, you wash it just like this? No, I just put the beads in. I mean, it's something that I wear between hair signs. It's but not you, necessarily something that So you take the beads out? Oh, You're course, kidding, yeah. you really well, do? Well, you take the comb out to wash your hair. It's the same thing. I always wondered. Because yeah, it seems like it would take an awful lot of time to put all those beads in. Oh, well, it was a little help for my friends. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. You so wash your hair? Really just you wash your hair yeah. as it is what now? Is what it? I mean, but is this like the Bob Marley reggae inspired? Yeah, it's Rastafarian. What's in, is that what it's called? The, so what do you, do you call it the Rastafarian locks? No, uh, Rastafarian is just a cult of people I know. that use I know. a particular kind of hairstyle. The hairstyle itself is called dreadlocks. Meaning oh, dreadlocks. Right. Dreadlocks. Right. I love I love his hair. It's so easy. You just never have to take. I want well, your but hair to. Your hair can be the same way, like I said. No, but just like yours. No, but I, I know. Do you wash Mar it the way it is? So you wear it the way it is? You go with it the way it is? Yeah. Well, and he washes it. Do, just as you should be doing. I mean, he, he does the same thing that you would do with your hair. And instead of blowing it, he doesn't blow it. But the reason that we implement perms, again, is because it gives you hair that you can wash and not do anything with. It's the same principle as you with your hair. I mean, it's nothing special. It's just a different way of wearing the hair. So what do you think about that? What do I think? Yeah. I think that uh, I think Eric is yeah. right on. I mean, I think Eric knows what he likes. Yeah. And I think that... Uh, he, I believe it. I believe that he washes his hair. I believe it. I, so. I mean, if, you know, I, I believe the guy. Hi. Hi. Oh, where are we? We're, we're moving along here. We're moving along and down the line. Excuse me, Eric. Oh, yes, all right.
Could, could you tell me your name anyway? Yes, my name is Joan Weinstein. Joan? Are you from New York? No, I'm from Chicago. Miss Chicago. Definitely. Miss Chicago. Mrs. Chicago. Mrs. Chicago? Mrs. Chicago. Yeah. Because, we, we, you know, we want the audience to see all the content. Because we're having a content. Better than when you came in. You do? Yes. Do you work for San Andre by any chance? I don't. You don't? That is in, Just that's your honest opinion? It's my honest opinion. Well, thank you for your opinion, Joan. You hate Thank you. No I, I, no, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I love it on you. I just really wanted a shave, you know. I really came for a shave. That's that. You know, so I mean, I'm, I'm not. I, you know, I'm just not turned off. I'm just surprised because I just came in for a shave. But that, that was nice, you know. Nice surprise. You get no hairdo instead. Thanks a lot, John, and good luck. Good Thanks luck. a lot. <laughs> Hi. And what is your name? Catherine. Hi, Catherine. And where are you from? I'm from Manhattan. You're from Manhattan? Okay, then you're going to have to be Miss South Dakota because we already have a Miss Manhattan. And what, and what, and what is your name? Alan. Alan. Alan? Yeah. Did you, were you both in the same place because you both had the same tan? Sort of. Our heads are in the same place. You mean your heads were there but you weren't? Indeed. Your heads were both in India at the same time? Our heads were both on the beach, but we weren't on the same beach. You were on the same beach. Different beach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I met her on the beach. Oh, you very, met her on the beach? Yeah, she had very long hair then. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. You should have seen it. Oh, gray streaks. Awful. <laughs> it's hard to believe. I mean, it really is hard to believe. Seeing you right now, I mean, it, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not calling you a liar, but I cannot. I mean, I can't. I've never lied. I mean, I it's incredible what, what Alain, Alain, do you, what do you prefer, Alain or Alain? Alain. Alain. Sarah Vaughn, Stan Getz, Duke Ellington, Probably the way so he says it is the way he But you are right, because so you, you said that, because you both have the same co color skin, and then you told me that your heads were the same voice, but your bodies weren't there, and right? I also don't know whether it's real. Right, and you don't know whether it's real. Right on. Right, no, I, no, I'm, I'm, you're really going with the flow here. So they, their heads were at the same place, their bodies weren't, they met, and both had, ended up with the same tan. And this is in South Dakota, and I know that Alain, Alain, uh, what, what, what state would you like to be from? I'll take Florida. And Florida? And look Puerto Rico. Okay, I don't think we have a Miss Puerto Rico or Miss Florida, so... Miss Puerto Rico is a state. We have a Miss Florida? No, you find one. Oh, okay, so, so you'll be Miss Puerto Rico then? Sure. Okay, sure. All right, fine. It's great for a little okay, Dutch great. girl to be Miss... Okay, we've got Miss... Okay. What, what do we say? Great for a little Dutch girl to be Miss Florida. Oh, you're Dutch? So am I. I'm French. You are? No. No kidding. Yes. I, I thought you that. were Indian. No. All the time on the beach. Oh, I saw this right time. Nobody could believe that I was French. <laughs> I was French. Alain and uh, Miss Florida. Or Puerto Rico, whichever way you want to look at it. I don't care. You don't care. She doesn't even care. Just as long as she wins. You know how greedy they get when they get in these contests. I mean, it's all smiles. This is uh, the Cootie Award. These are the Cootie Awards. Oh, you don't want to win. Why? But you don't know what the price is. I mean, how could you say you don't want to win when you don't know what the price is? It'd have to be damn tempting. What's the price? A box of Cracker Jacks. And now I bet you changed your mind, right? Not at all. Look, and she changed her mind right in front of the camera. No, Completely so turned as soon as she found out what the prize was. Some on the subway on the way up. What, the Cracker Jacks? Well, maybe you'll get second prize. Can you guess what second prize is? No, no way. Four portable color TV tubes. We have a consultation and we'll take first prize. You're going to take first prize? Okay. So if you win, yeah. so she wins, she'll sell for first prize. Well, I'm back, I feel like a whole new person. You are, you are a whole new person. A hairdo can do that. Can you believe it? I think I'll be the winner. You think you're going to win? I think I'm going to win. 
No, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep mom. Okay. So who's, who's next? Well, uh, Miss Kansas City is down. Oh, Kansas City. I'm dying to talk to her. Can I talk to her? Sure. sure. Right right on. Hi. Are you Miss Kansas? If you want so. Well, that's what I heard, that you're Miss Kansas. You're the candidate for the Miss Kansas Award tonight. I guess I am. Are you excited about the event tonight? Sure, very much so. You are Miss Texas, aren't Miss you? Miss Texas, no, you Miss are. Madrid. Miss Madrid? Oh, you could have fooled me. Uh, no, no, but you could tell. Oh, you know how you oh yeah, the roots. She is Miss Madrid. No, she's not Miss Madrid. <laughs> no roots. No roots, no. You're Miss Madrid. I could no. tell by that great eye eyeliner. Oh. My mind. It's the eyeliner that is the right, eyeliner. right. <laughs> Miss Madrid, are you really excited about tonight, the event? Yes. You are? And what is your talent going to be tonight? My what? What are you going to do talent? talent competition. My talent? Yes. Because on the balloting, it says that you are a cucaracha dancer. Oh, really? Oh. Well, I'll have to have my hair done for that, then. Okay, the tension is, has mounted to oh. its peak. Ooh. We have our winners. But first, all the contestants nominated their own winner. Miss the Miss Congeniality of this year's Cootie Awards. Oh, and God. it's exciting. It is Miss. Who is it? Can I open the envelope? Oh, I, oh yes. Read. Oh, that's right, because we're not supposed to know until we open the envelope. It is Miss Puerto Rico. Oh, great! I'm so oh, oh, Miss Congeniality. She was so sweet. She was so sweet. Miss Puerto Rico was. She was a doll. She was wonderful. She was a doll. Bert Parks is parking oh, his car she's right now. In heaven. She's in seventh heaven. It's Miss Congeniality. Okay, and our final runner-up and our winner, the best best talent was. Honey. Dude, your hands are shaking. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I, I can't read it. The card's upside down. Okay, Who was best, best, best talent? Best talent was Miss Andy Warhol. N no, no, Miss Hummer. Miss Hummer. Oh, Miss Hummer. Congratulations. This was wonderful. I knew you'd win. I knew you'd win. Art prize. Yay. Okay. And now, and the now the, 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 the big moment. The oh, big God. moment is here. The big moment is here. Do you want to? I'm do so it? nervous, and I'm so excited, and I'm so happy for the potential winner. You do it. Oh, I can't. Miss Cootie, 1978. The San Andre Cootie Award goes to Miss Missouri. No, <gasps> Miss Miss Misery. <gasps> Miss Misery. Miss Misery, you're gonna have a lot of you're gonna have a lot of company this year. Oh, yeah. oh. oh and last year's winner. Oh, lovely, lovely. Who has now become a famous television celebrated newscaster. We'll give her crown to you, Miss Misery. And good luck. There she blows. Okay, now we have to stop the camera while he mounts the crown, and she has to walk out with her cloak on. Okay, now Miss Congeniality, you had you give her the flowers. Bert, who's going to be Bert? Where's um, Sam? Shall I squirt the tears over? Do you want the tears squirted? <laughs> there are going to be an eight. <laughs> Sam, would you put the crown on the robe on her? Because a man, I think a man, or is a woman supposed to do it? All right, I'll do it. Fulfilled. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, okay, just hold okay. it very Karen steady. Is slowly. Just get very up. steady. Get up from your throne. Yes. Okay. And we have to walk. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a tense, exciting moment. She is Miss Cootie Award winner. Next year, same time. There she was, crying those real glycerin tears. Her oh. crown is off. She's back to reality. It's, it's, it's been a thrilling. pleasure. It's, it's a thrilling been a pleasure night. Co hosting this. Movie. It sure has. I'm telling you. I hope you. next year I win. I hope next year you win too. Because I really look forward to that budding career in TV. And thank you for being with us tonight. And thank you for tuning all in. All you Cootie Award. <laughs> you could catchers out there. Thanks for all those votes. Okay, I'm not going to say ladies and gentlemen this time. That's what you get for three takes. And now, living proof 
of the effectiveness and the genius of the some of the hair geniuses here at San Andre. We have a before and after. Two two hours ago, this beauty walked in. Hello. Not bad to begin with. Not bad to begin with. Potential. This is her. Two hours later. Now, what do you think of that? That is quite a change. That is quite yeah. a change. How do you feel? Did you, how do you like, did you like yourself better before or now? I like myself better before, but I like myself now too. Good, good. That's what we wanted to hear. That's a very good answer. Thank you. Thank you. Two hours ago, five minutes ago, one hour later, San Andre. Remember the place if you want this face. I don't know. Bell. I, I have some uh, news that I thought we, we overlooked in the announcements of this evening's events, course of events. And where, yes. That Miss Hummer was nice enough to donate her gift this evening to the American Indians. And where is Miss Hummer? Is she gone? No, Miss Hummer left. She, she left, left in a rampage. She left. But. Us. She left, she's donating her gift to the, the Miss Hummer Award to the American Indians. 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 And we wanted to mention that because there are good it, people it, left. It shows there there are no Indians in left, but some few generous people. Yeah. Hi, Teresa. Hi. You work here, Teresa? Yes. How do you like it? Good. Did you make that lemonade? Sure. It was out of sight. I'm and so delighted. are you, Teresa. Thank you, I'm delighted. And, what, and this is, is this your favorite working apron? Yes. <laughs> the New York Times. Yes. Well, you are with the New York Times, Teresa. Okay, that's very good. Thank and you, dear. Teresa, I'd like I'm to, glad to meet you. I'd, like I'd like to say that if there's no other reason to come here at all, you can certainly come for this lemonade. Oh, it's thank terrific. You. I second that emotion. Thank Where are you from? Jamaica. Uh, Jamaica. That's nice. Thank that's you. nice. It's nice meeting you. Nice meeting nice you, meeting too. You. Thank you. Thank you for everything. <laughs> you and now we have the perfect replacement for Anita Bryant's orange juice, Teresa's lemonade. And here is the man responsible for tonight's event, Andre of San Andre. And this is my co-host, uh, getting her hair done by you. Now, what, what do you think this girl needs here? What she needs? Yeah. Or what she doesn't need? She doesn't need a hairdo. She doesn't need a hairdo. No, no, but remember, I'm the liberating. You know, I, li I liberate women, you know? You and I mean to do I am. I'm seriously going to do it. You're very liberal you know, with the show tonight, and we appreciate these two women have appreciated yeah, but listen, I was tired of having to see the same woman every week and twice a week, and teasing her. I was too tired, you know, I couldn't make it anymore. So I had to stop. And somehow, moving toward this direction pleased please me much better. I, I was tired of catering to housewives. I want to deal with working women, you know? I thought it was much more exciting. And working nuts like us. <laughs> yeah, right. We are workers. We are workers. We're workers. We'll, yeah, we're that's work why I don't have time to do my hair. I am working. I never stop, and that's why I don't have time to do working? it. But do you think we're going to really make it someday? I mean, so like them. Right? What are we talking about? Well, wait, about wait. us. I mean, you and me? Fam you're famous oh, and you're rich. <laughs> you're rich. Are you going to make it with him? I think him, Teresa's going to make it with her lemonade. Teresa, thank you. Oh, Open up a stand outside with that lemonade. Oh, it's oh, fantastic. And I'm seeing her. Oh, I'm sorry. Say you're that again. Girl. Go ahead. What? Are you ready? You asked me how I curled his haircut. What no, no, I didn't. I said, what is this haircut going to do for her? Well, give her more, more of a face? Her, give her more bones? Her. And she's alright. She said, can you trim my, my hair? So uh, that's my first approach. So what I'm doing, I keep the hair as long as I can, and I reshape her hair a little bit to give her a maximum can length you make and me volume. look like Farrah Fawcett? Oh, that's yeah. just what she wants to look like, Farrah. That's just what I want so, to look like. But it's everybody's dream, you know, to look like Farrah Fawcett. It is? Sure. Sure. Absolutely. Do you get people that come in that want to look like that? Do you give them that look if they ask for it? Yeah. I would not see. I do divine hair. You do divine hair? Absolutely. I love divine. Yeah, I do too. And I think it looks really great on her. What do you think? I like her hair. Yeah. So divine is your biggest celebrity here? Yes. I love divine. Yeah, I love it. I take divine over Farrah Fawcett. Oh, I take day. divine over. Does Farrah oh. come in here yeah, ever? Thank you. Farrah. No, she goes uh, somewhere else. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we do try to relate to women 
as far as what their personality is concerned and to do something for them, not to do a Farah Fawcett or whatever style. We don't do oh, that. Oh, I've got to go then. I'm leaving. Well, I wanted a Farah Fawcett. To you. All I, want I to wanted talk a Farah Fawcett. You. you told you wanted the Yule Brenner. I, want I wanted the Yule Brenner. Talk to you. Talk to me. I think you should look great in a Yule Brenner, don't you? No, too conservative. I mean, to shape like Grace Jones, you mean? No, no, no. No, I like you. Like, like mine? I mean, to mention Yule Brenner and Grace Jones in one breath is... It's the sacrilege. That is quite a sweeping comparison. Yeah. No, I'd right. rather look like you. What, what makes you, in your own in your own words, Andre, Yes. what makes, what makes you better than the average salon in New York? Besides the lemonade, outside the lemonade. Oh, because we stopped doing hair, you know? We stopped doing hair, too. <laughs> doing teeth now. <laughs> Welcome to the salon of teeth. You can't make teeth. Could I look at your mouth, please? <laughs> Go in with a set of hair and you come out with a good set of caps. Oh, anyway, I love the music. <laughs> Do they put that? Oh, God, that lemonade. I'm telling you, folks, it's the lemonade. It's the lemonade. Here. Did you take the mic? Take. Okay. Oh, jeez. Andre, where are you going? Where do you think you're going? How long have you have you how long have you had this establishment? Nine years. Nine years. Yes. Nine years. No, nine years. <laughs> nine years. Yes. Years. No, nine years. Oh yeah. No years. Oh yes. No years. Oh, yes. No nine. Nine years. Oh yeah. Nine years. Nine years. Nine years. Oh, okay, I got it. Okay. Get it, got it, get it. What? Do, do, why do you keep doing this? I, look what he did. Do you think this is me? Is this me? But is it, is it? What? Is he, what? You don't know, honey. I don't think this is me. I mean, this is me. Do you think this is me? I found your hair like that. I love it. I know my hair is... Beautiful hair. Then why did you why did you do this to it? Listen, don't you think she needs it? With your hair. Can I just wear it straight? Can I wear it straight, Andre? I mean, yeah, sure you could wear it straight. But I think as long as taking off your face, the idea is just to put. Would you take off your face? <laughs> taking the hair off my face. Take off your face. All right, well let's do we take the hair off my face now. You want to feel your hair? Do I need to? My five o'clock shadow showing. But you, your makeup takes care of that, though, right? Five o'clock shadow. You think so? I suppose, yeah. How long have you had the makeup line? Three years. Three yeah. years. Three years. Three, three years. Three years. You know, there are you know, plant years, and then there are flower years, you, but then I there mean, are three years. Do you think that's nice to insult the Germans like that? <laughs> I don't know. Listen, how can you say that? Where are they? He's French. Where are the Germans? In Germany. What city were you born in? The city. I was born we, in Belgium. Oh, in Belgium. Yeah. See, so we weren't even insulting a Frenchman. No, because we were only kidding. We were only yeah. kidding. Just is just for kicks. Anyway. Now, what about men? Have, have the, has the has the Travolta? You know, because you, you have male customers too. Yeah, right. And a lot of guys are really into the. Travolta look. I mean, like, Tra John Travolta is the male equivalent to Farrah Fawcett now. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Yeah, but he's said more than Well, get ready for it, Andre. They all, have you seen the movie, Saturday, Saturday Night Fever? No. Well, it's that brushed back look, kind of like that guy over there with a different face. That brush, you see the movie, and you'll see there are all these men that go to, do you go to Studio 54? Every so often, yeah. But you know, but our hair is like the same color. Yes, but mine is natural. So is mine. This yeah. is natural. Yeah. Well, what do you think? This is a wig? <laughs> but what's natural? This is not a wig. This is the real thing. Yeah, but what's natural? Natural is what is not fake. So you don't bleach your hair? Oh, oh, is that? Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I get now I see. So if you do bleach well, your hair, you're obliged to go back to your beauty salon. I can't lie. I can't lie. I don't bleach my hair. You don't? Okay. <laughs> we have the same color hair. I mean, well, see, a real natural we blonde like rules. myself. Yes. And Farrah was telling me last week that um, 
She's natural too, Farah. She's very natural. Yeah. yeah. And um, and we see. How do you like that? Do you like that when I put that little bunny thing? No, I like it. Oh, you don't? I don't know. It's I just don't know this clean. It was actually it was a bit too clean, you know. This should really come out more. See? I like it like that. Yeah, you do. Yeah. It was an excuse to touch you. Oh. See, I'm, you know, I'm such a dumb blonde that I can't even think of an excuse to touch you. I, I, I would just touch you. Yeah, well, I wouldn't, but you know you must say. be a real gentleman. Gentlemen prefer blonde. So, it's well. Sounds like we got something going here. <laughs> okay. So, what be, okay, so we better sign off with Andre, right? Yeah. Because uh, yeah. enough is enough and... And, um, and you have been really terrific to let us come barging in here. Point, you know, yeah, what so is the point? Exactly. What is the point? <laughs> That's it's it. to realize Whatever there's no point, you know? Keep on asking yourself. So the point of tonight's show is, what is the point? And we hope that you get the point.